Hi everyone, this is Dawn Richardson here uh, for Twin Hearts Ablaze, and in um, this introductory series uh, that I am um, beginning today, been, uh, it is, let's see what day is it, it is um, April the 18th, 2017, it's Tuesday, weird day to start this, but that's that's what I was shown, and so here I am, and I'm going to um, be sharing um, a series of videos in this introductory series. There will likely be seven, uh, well, actually eight videos. This will be the introductory video to the series, and these are seven principles of uh, relationship redefined and of sacred partnership, sacred union, divine unions, um, which are opening up um, a new way of seeing relationship for the world. So many of us who um, have felt that, feel that we've been called to a path of sacred partnership, um, what is sometimes referred to as twin flame relationship, um, not a term that I resonate with anymore, but I wanted to just go ahead and put that out there in case you are finding this channel and feel yourself on that path. What we're really doing or what I've been shown that we're, what we're really kind of, what this is all about is opening up a whole new way forward together in relationship to one another so that those of us who call were called to this um, experience early on and and may not have known you know what this was about or been confused by it at points or you know who uh, maybe recently you found yourself on this path um, what I see and this is just my truth and so take it or, or leave it if it doesn't resonate certainly don't um, you know, move on. But what I see is that it's actually that we are all, you know, kind of moving forward into this whole new way of uh, seeing ourselves when it comes to being in relationship with one another. And in particular, um, those, um, those uh, deeper um, relationships um, in terms of uh, partnership or moving together, um, what has traditionally been viewed as a marriage or a long-term committed partnership, uh, although that's being redefined as well. Um, so these videos will just share, I'll share with you to the best of my ability, um, you know, kind of the, what I've been shown or uh, what I have come to understand myself. I'm very much on the way with this. And so I ask that you um, know that um, as I'm sharing. At points, I will likely read what I have written because I'm a writer and uh, this, um, well, I, I like the idea of and the immediacy of video very much. Um, I am not always the best speaker, and so sometimes I will read, and particularly when it's a concept I am just beginning to play with, and and this is in process. This is uh, me trying to articulate sometimes complex things that I have been shown, and I'm not sure that I have completely grasped the entirety of the meaning. Um, and so I will revert to reading at points and then just kind of talking off the cuff. Know that this is very much in process. I welcome your comments, welcome your observations, um, and definitely invite you to, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest. So without further ado, let me begin with an introduction. This is sort of an overview to the series. Um, and I'm working on, you know, kind of writing this as I go and will um, eventually kind of create some form of, um, I don't know whether it will be, you know, an actual book or if it'll be a series of, of articles. I'll work on collecting that though and will eventually make that available to you with a link in the description box below. That's not available yet, um, but be on the lookout for that. And I appreciate your patience with that. Um, by the way, when I do these videos, I do it when you know when I'm called to do it, and uh, regardless of what's going on in my day. So thus, I'm in my my little casual workout clothes, and I'm usually outside because I tend to do better with videos outside. So welcome. Thank you for you know being here for the series and exploring it with me. I think it's a very exciting opportunity um, that we have right now. So I'm going to begin with an introduction, and my working you know kind of text here is. Uh, simply an exploration of the sacred partnership path. And so we'll begin with the introduction. I'm going to read you what I've got so far, and then we'll have a little discussion about that. So um, introduction to the sacred partnership path. Relationships everywhere, everywhere fall apart. Long agreed upon contractual agreements, spoken and unspoken, are falling apart. There is no energy to sustain them in our rapidly changing world. What is required is surrender, and more than that, unconditional surrender. Only from this state can we find a whole new way forward in relationship. 
the whole that whole new way forward begins with a whole new you and a radical redefinition of what it means to be the whole of who we are in relationship to ourselves and to one another. When we begin anew with a clean slate, we allow the unseen to rise up to meet us in our sincere desire to redefine relationship. I had long felt called to the path of sacred partnership or divine union. I seem to have come into this life with a knowing that I was called to some new kind of love. Yet love and connection have been the challenge of my life. I found most of the friendships I formed lacking, likely because I was still all tied up with expectation or operating in the prevailing framework for traditional relationships that, despite lofty aspirations by those who tout their benefit, are often, by their very nature, of the reason for an approach to these relationships built on the unsustainable foundation of a love that is conditional. Let me say that again because I'm not sure I read that correctly. So let me just say it the way I understand it. So I, you know, was, um, relationships were important to me and I was drawn to them. And yet what I found over and over again, those traditional relationships where all this particular promise of fulfillment was wrapped up in this, that actually... Um, because they were built up and built up and so much emphasis was placed upon them that I personally found them lacking very often because the very uh, ways that we approach them and the expectation we put upon them, it, re it creates a situation where those, um, there, it's, on a, it's an unsustainable um, foundation and it's a false foundation for love. And because the very approach to it is conditional. I'll say more about that later. Let me pick up reading again. In sacred partnership, we explore the nature of relationships that are rooted in the magical and the miraculous. I believe that within the context of relationship, we are offered the opportunity to embrace a whole new way of seeing ourselves. Within relationship, we are invited into a whole new way forward that begins with a commitment to growing back toward the ground of God. As we do this, individually and together in relationship, we expand radiantly into the fullness of who we are individually, in relationship to God, and in relationship to one another. Let me just take a quick aside and say that I will use the term God. It does resonate for me. Um, I don't have any negative associations with that word. However, when I say God, I actually mean all that is. I mean life itself, life force, life itself. I mean um, the creator energy um, of not just the world, but all that is uh, ourselves. And so... Um, it's an honoring for that. So please substitute if that word God is not one that you resonate with. Okay, this book is devoted to exploring a whole new way forward in relationships. We will do that through the lens of 90 Seeds for Life, shared previously in my Cultivating Essence book series and in the 90 Days to Life, which is an online program for soul growth and radiant expansion in your life and life's work. The book is informed by my own deep exploration of how I might redefine key relationships and begin anew. The book, this book is for anyone who desires a deeper experience of being in a relationship of any kind and who is open to the redefini redefinition of relationship as guided by spirit. Let these seeds for greater connection and understanding uh, be conversation starters. Allow them to be an opening to a broader, deeper, more exquisite experience of life and living in full expression through your connection with one another. By the way, I will be see, uh, sharing hopefully a series of these um, 90 Seeds for Life as it relates to the redefinition of relationships. I may do that here on this channel, so stay tuned, but that will come after the introductory series. So while we will focus on sacred partnership between two individuals, many of the topics explored may be relevant to all kinds of relationships, to include your relationship to you and your full embrace of your whole self and your soul self. I am on the way with you in every way and make no claims of being an expert. I simply want to invite you into your own experience of the gentle redefinition of the relationships in your life through a reconnection to spirit. 
Think of these things using your heart intelligence and your own soul's knowing. Seven key questions. Seven key questions form the sacred matrix in which we begin our exploration. These questions will help us to walk in the way of wholeness as we engage in a whole new way of being in relationship to one another. I see these seven questions as anchors of light that provide a framework for that matrix of understanding the true gift of relationship. Return to these questions as you examine your own relationships. If you are in a relationship with another who shares your commitment to spiritual growth and the path of awakening in and through the relationship, and if it feels aligned for both of you, then discuss them together. So one of the best things that you can do to strengthen your own understanding of sacred partnership is to keep a journal to explore your great learning about the very nature of relationship. So here are the seven questions. One, what does it mean to be in sacred partnership? Two, how can we open ourselves to make the interior journey to sacred wholeness and the exterior journey to soulful transformation? Three, how might we learn to be on the way with love and grace? Four, what are the hallmarks of living in harmony with one another? Five, how can we meet each other in a new field and release all of the old ways of seeing one another through the eyes of limitation or expectation? Six, where are the points of connection and in interconnection, interconnection to God, to each other, to ourselves? Seven, how can we lean into life and cultivate the gifts of our souls as we prepare for sacred partnership and live into it? So it is my great honor and joy to be on the way with you here, and I'm excited about all the ways that we are creating a whole new way forward together through relationship. So lots of love. Um, I do offer 90 Days to Life, um, which is an online program for soul growth and um, exploration, including an expansion, that radiant expansion in your life and life's work. It's a foundation, um, and it's really about um, inner connection to your essential self, your essential journey, and your essential truth. So I'll put a link to that below, and that's a nice um, uh, place to start in terms of really strengthening your um your relationship to you because all other relationships are dependent upon that and we'll talk some about that in future videos. So what will follow is a series of seven videos. I have no particular schedule um, in terms of releasing these and I actually am really going to trust um, that I will know um, you know the timing of that and I feel like it may be you know kind of um, I'm going to leave it open-ended. It may be that this occurs over a series of months, possibly even longer. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, kind of trust trust that when one particular um, uh, of the seven videos is ready, I'll know to share it. Um, and so I do feel it's time to share that first one is here. And so I will be moving on to record that. And that will be posted shortly. Many thanks again for joining me. And I will see you in the next video.